So, would you like some words of wisdom? Sure, why not? It's Wednesday, wait, wait, after wait. all. All right, here we go. Ready? Yes. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. Because hmm. sometimes, you know, when something goes wrong, you're like, why is this happening? And then you realize in hindsight, when you look back on it, you're like... There was a reason. That, was, that relationship was not supposed to work. I thought it was the worst time of my life, but it opened the doors to all Beauty. the other stuff. <laughs> to beauty. All right, hmm. you know... Here's the funny thing about life. You rarely get to witness a moment when someone's life changes. To actually see a moment where they are either they've gotten great news, it's like an Olympian winning the gold, like you get to witness it. So when the Oscar nominations came out, mm -hmm. we actually got to see what it what? felt so like. Was, was it, wait, and we have not been nominated for Oscars. Anything. And probably yeah, will ever, never be. Ever. But, but was there, what was that moment for you, like that you oh. wish, oh my gosh. Uh... Probably that moment for me was I was in local news and I learned that I got a job at Dateline and I dialed my mom's number and I know exactly where she sits. She worked at the Library of Congress. I knew exactly where her cubicle was. I knew exactly who was sitting around her. And I had worked so hard for this job and it wasn't supposed to happen, then it did. And I called her, I go, Mom? She goes, yes, what's happened? I go, I got the job at Dateline. And she stood up and she goes, my daughter's working at Dateline NBC. And you could hear like, like, and I remember it. It was like the closest thing to an ovation that I'll never forget, even though it was over the phone. Yeah. I remember it so clearly because I could picture it. And I thought, my God, that was like one of those moments. I think I was more excited to tell my mom than I was to actually get well, the that's job. That's what your mom has yeah. done. One yeah. of the, like, she really like, it's the, su the support. Yeah. Like, well, you feel yeah. it there. What was yours? What was your... I mean, I don't know. I can't think of one. Yeah. When I asked you, I'm like, do I have one? I mean, there have to be little moments that have Tons. made me feel big. But yeah. um, I think... You know, I have to say, when I was first started working here, yeah. I was also teaching in Baltimore. I was a reading specialist, and I couldn't figure it out. I lived yeah. in Baltimore. I worked out of the D.C. office. Right. I didn't really know anybody, and I'm like, is this even working? Right. And Don Nash called me. I remember I was yeah. walking home from school from my car yeah. to get into my house. Yeah. It's like 5.30 p.m., and Don Nash, our, one of our old bosses, called and said, do you want to go to the Olympics? Oh, my And gosh. I remember thinking, me? Like, why yeah. would they want yeah. me to go? But yeah. I knew, like, okay, this way I can really learn. Like, yes. I can be there with everybody and yes. see. And that was the Vancouver Olympics however many years ago, that a long time ago. Ten years ago? Oh, my God, that's right. How many years ago? I don't oh, know, but long. a long time ago. All right, let's watch some other people's life change. All right, so Spike Lee's been nominated a ton of times. He's never, I mean, he's never been, he's, he's had a lot of films, but yes. he's never been nominated which for an Oscar crazy. for directing, which is insane. Yeah. Like, right. I thought I read that stat wrong, but watch him as he gets nominated for Best Director. The phone's blowing up. They're all in bed. They're all screaming. I mean, that is so... Awesome. I love it because he's with his family, even his little dog is on the end of the bed, like, like yeah. we're in. We did it. Woof. Remember when Glenn Close said she found out yesterday? That was the cutest. So she was nominated for The Wife. Or this one, um, so that movie, by the way, got tons of nominations, yes. didn't it? Yeah, it got, The like, Wife? No, The uh, Black, Black, Black Klansman. Klansman. Yeah. Got six nominations. Wow. All right. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a friend who works, who worked at Dateline. Her name's Julie Cohen. She's a friend of mine. She had worked, we had done stories together for Dateline over the years, and she did this little documentary called RBG. It's about Ruth I Bader Ginsburg. I think we've heard of it. So I feel like she's just like us. Like, you know, she's this kid. And all of a sudden, they, she's wondering, like, are we going to get an Oscar nomination? This is like Julie Cohen from, you know, <laughs> the fourth floor across the street <laughs> over there. So she, along with her co-director, Betsy West, we're sweating through the nominations. Just take a look at this. Fathers and sons. Oh my God. Oh my God. RBG. Yes! Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. through all of them so they were like okay there's still three left still three still two still two. Oh no oh there's just one left and then all of a sudden can you imagine you know what makes movie? these all so awesome oh. though is that they're set and what when glenn close called yesterday and she yeah. talked about her brother being yeah. at the truck stop yes it's the fact that yes. you have people to celebrate with yes 
That they're, right. she's celebrating with her partner right. and somebody that she worked hard right. with. And it looks like there's somebody to the left of her, maybe her yeah, her, that was her husband. husband. Yeah, that was her husband. thrilled for her. Yeah. Like, I think that shows the importance of having these people you know around what? us. You're right. Because to get an award or, or an, even a nomination like that and to have it be like your agent calling you on the phone yeah. and you're in an empty place, you're right. It's, it's, it's they, they all share that. Find that was the people awesome. that want to celebrate your you. Your little tribe. Yep.